Who is Don Jazzy? Michael Collins a Jerry, born 26 November 1982, known professionally as Don Jazzy, is a Nigerian record producer and singer. He founded the record label Maven Records in 2012, through which he has signed artists including D Prince, Rima, and Era Star. One prior, he co-founded Mo Hits Records with Debange in 2004 and was an in-house producer for American rapper Kanye West Good Music from 2011 to 2013. Don Jazzy was born Michael Collins at Jerry in Umwahia, Abia State, on November 26, 1982, the son of Collins Annabelle of Jerry and Mrs. Ajara. His father is from Isiko in Delta State. His mother is an IGBO princess from Abia State, and his father is a member of the Isiko people. Ajara's family moved to Ajangunal, Lagos, where Don Jazzy was raised. 5. He was educated at the Co-Educational High School, Federal Government College Lagos. Don Jazzy found an interest in music early in life, and at age 12, began to play the bass guitar and piano. 6. He also gained knowledge of traditional and percussion instruments. Don Jazzy enrolled in business management and studied at the Ambrose Alley University at Poma, Edo State. In 2000, Jazzy's uncle invited him to play the drums for a local church in London and that was his first visit to London. Don Jazzy gained employment at McDonald's as a security guard. He continued his interest in music, associating with Solik. GGC Skills, Paz, Jesse Jags, The 419 Squad, and DeBanch. In 2004, Don Jazzy collaborated with DeBanch to form Mo Hits Records. In the next two years, Don Jazzy produced the albums No Long Thing and Rundown or Funk You Up around. This time, Don Jazzy developed a recognizable introduction. It's Don Jazzy again. In 2008, Don Jazzy was credited in the production of The Entertainer by DeBange. He also contributed to the production of Juan Cole's Mushin 2, Mohits, an album that was described as one of the best albums to ever come out of Nigeria. In 2011, Don Jazzy was employed by Kanye West as a producer at Very Good Beats. Don Jazzy worked with Jay-Z and Kanye West on the production of Lift Off, featuring Bianca on the album Watch, The Throne which was released on 8 August 2011 11 in March 2012, Don Jazzy and DeBange confirmed their breakup, citing artistic differences. On May 7, 2012, Don Jazzy announced a new record label Maven Records. He said, I see Maven Records being the powerhouse of music in Africa in the shortest possible time. On November 5, 2013, Jerry had conflict with an artist, Juan Cole, who left the label two days later. In September 2014, a Jerry produced a Nigerian social activist song with Rikado Banks and Daiha called Arise. At the Hedys Awards 2015, a Jerry argued with Alamide. The two disagreed about who should have won the next rated award. Little Kesh of Ibnal Records lost to Rikado Banks, a Jera's artist. The winner of the award received a car. Apologies on both sides were posted afterwards. After Rikado Banks' departure from the Maven Records label, Don Jazzy said he is still part of the family and wished him nothing but success in his career as he thanked him for tea. He time spent with Maven Records. In 2019, he signed Rima and later went on in 2020 to sign Era Star into Maven's record label. In 2021, he announced a new artist, Magix. On April 7, 2021, he revealed why he never signed Davido.